with a criminal like Obama. Of course, in other news, the climate talks are going on in Paris and not to be outdone. Bernie Sanders wants to go farther than anyone in terms of pushing us into global socialism. He urges a carbon tax and deeper emission cuts in his climate plan. He's trying to upstage rivals Hillary Clinton and Martin O'Malley. He's released a 16 page plan. He wants to go even further than Obama. He wants to have 40 percent cut in carbon emissions by 2030 a giant carbon tax, big investments in energy saving technologies and renewable power sources. Hey, Bernie, what you're talking about is crony climatism. It's the same as crony capitalism, except these people are too green to fail. Same type of thing going on. And you need to understand as well that in the places where they know socialism the best, they have rejected it the hardest. Latest case in point, Venezuela, where after two decades of dominance by socialists, They've now been turned out. What did the two decades of socialists give them? A 10% shrinking GDP, 6% projected downturn in 2016, 18% unemployment. An alliance of centrist and conservative parties have thrown them out. And one of the things they're going to do is free the political prisoners. How's that for free speech? Stay with us when we come back. We're going to have more climate news. We'll be right back. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for President! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Science is a belief in the ignorance of the experts. Let me repeat that. Science is a belief in the ignorance of the experts. And yet the way climate change is being sold to us is on the basis of authority. Trust these people. They're scientists. They have PhDs, so forth. The person who said that was Richard Feynman, a true scientist, a nuclear physicist, uh, one of the uh, people involved in the creation of the nuclear bomb also a pioneer in quantum mechanics, but we don't see this in Paris. We're not seeing real science. Look at this article here. Activists demand the UN revoke credentials of climate deniers in Paris. They don't agree with you. They don't want you to even speak. You should be censored, okay? No skepticism, but censorship. That is not science. And look who they're doing here. Look at that picture. That's Mark Morano of Climate Depot. He's going to be our guest tomorrow on the Alex Jones radio show. He's gonna be talking about a film that he'll be premiering in uh, Paris, I think it premieres today. He's gonna talk to us about the uh, premiere of it, Climate Hustle. In it, you'll see scientists, real scientists, who looked at the evidence and said, you know what, I don't believe global warming. They came out initially, many of them, and said, okay, I'll accept it. I hear these people, their authorities on this. When they looked at the evidence, they said, no, ain't happening. Not only that, 
but we may have to shut down the BBC. This article here, carbon emissions to stall or even decline this year. This appeared on the BBC. Global emissions of carbon dioxide are likely to stall, even decline slightly this year, say new data. Researchers say the first time this has happened while the global economy has continued to grow. Absolutely amazing. Now, as we began the program, we talked about Pearl Harbor. We talked about the provocation of FDR to the Japanese, to the Germans. We talked about how he stood down, how he invited the attack, how he then used that attack for his own political purposes and for the purposes of the military industrial complex. What does that look like today? Here's that report. Last night, on my orders, America's armed forces began strikes against ISIL targets in Syria. U.S. counterterrorism officials asking why are ISIS fighters driving so many similar trucks and where are they getting them from? How do we know that the uh, arms that uh, are going to uh, the Syrian rebels are not going to get into the hands of ISIS? Because if we had people who uh, could, were there to funnel it to the right people, and I know these people, and I know who they are, and I know how to do it, and so do other people. You are basically saying that even in government at the time, you knew those groups were around, you saw this analysis, sure. and you were arguing against it, but who wasn't listening? I think, the, I think the administration. In an interview with The New Yorker magazine, it compares groups linked to Al-Qaeda to an amateur basketball team. Intelligence officials in Pakistan say a local commander from the terrorist network Islamic State has admitted receiving funds transferred via the U.S. He made the confession while being interrogated. Today we learned that the same group may now be in possession of a deadly cache of American-made firepower, Stinger missiles. I think it was a willful decision. A willful decision to go support an insurgency that had Salafists, Al-Qaeda, well, and Muslim Brotherhood. A willful Brotherhood. decision to do what they're doing, which, which you have to really, you have to really ask the president what is it that he actually is doing? As I've said before, this aspect of our strategy was moving too slowly, but the fall of Ramadi has galvanized the Iraqi government. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. Now, U.S. military aircraft have dropped ammunition in areas held by ISIL terror group in Iraq. Now, according to volunteer forces who are fighting the terrorists, American helicopters dropped boxes of weapons in Yathrib and Balad districts in the Salahuddin province. We now hear that President Obama will ask Congress for $5.3 billion to equip and train Iraqi soldiers and quote-unquote moderate Syrian rebels to fight the Islamic State militants. Reports say the U.S. military has airdropped weapons for, for the ISIL on several occasions. Last month, I ordered our military to take targeted action against ISIL to stop its advances. Do you know that he made the Air Force drop leaflets telling the ISIS truck drivers to get out that bombs were going to fall? Did you know that? Did it, does anyone know that he did that? This is going to make people think twice about this guy. This is not as clear as it may be of he's just a pacifist or a liberal. There's something more here, Donald. And it's been more than a year now. ISIS's capabilities seem to be expanding. Um, were you aware that they had the capability of pulling off the kind of attack that they did in Paris? Uh, are you concerned and do you think they have that same capability to strike in the United States? The unclassified reports have estimated that in just the first 12 months of renewed ISIS operations in uh, Syria and Iraq, they've recruited more than 22,000 foreign fighters. At least 4,000 are Westerners. So those are Americans, Brits, French citizens, German citizens. It was very disturbing to pull this from the UM website in September that says of the 381,412 arrivals that came across the Mediterranean Sea this, just this year up to September that 15% were children, 13% were women, and 72% were men. Uh, such a backlash against Syrian refugees coming to the United States after the word uh, that some of these attackers may have passed through Syria. 31 governors now say they don't want them living in their states. Many presidential candidates calling for a ban or a religious test. Congress moving for a moratorium on new refugees. Do they point out that there's an extensive vetting process that includes the intelligence community, the departments of state and homeland security? We don't have the systems in place on the ground to collect the information to vet. That would be the concern. Yes, I think that's the challenge we're all talking about, is that we can only query against that which we have collected. 
you can't account for what you don't know, and that goes to the intelligence deficit that I think is uh, uh, embedded in your question. There is alarm in Europe over allegations that Islamic State militants are infiltrating the continent by blending with crowds of migrants. But apparently they're scared of widows and orphans coming into the United States of America as part of our tradition of compassion. It's a terror threat unlike any Europe or the U.S. has seen before. It's the ultimate stealth weapon for ISIS. A female suicide bomber is like a stealth precision weapon. Stealth precision weapon, Brian, and this is a major change in strategy. We do not close our hearts to these victims of such violence and somehow start equating the issue of refugees with the issue of terrorism. Extraordinary pictures that follows confirmation, as Tom Stivert reported, of the death of the mastermind behind those attacks. Thanks to our military and counterterrorism professionals, America is safer. We've been reaching out to various countries that have been fighting ISIS uh, in Syria and Iraq, uh, urging followers to attack in their home country. Uh, the FBI is still gathering the facts about what happened in San Bernardino, but here's what we know. The victims were brutally murdered and injured by one of their co-workers and his wife. So far, we have no evidence that the killers were directed by a terrorist organization overseas or that they were part of a broader conspiracy here at home. Because we have the clearest indication yet that that shooting rampage two days ago in San Bernardino, California, was an act of terror inspired by ISIS. New details about the couple involved in that deadly San Bernardino mass shooting, including a statement of support for ISIS by the female shooter, Tashfeen Malik. We may have somebody who comes to us and is simply not on our radar for any discernible reason. And there may also be the possibility that somebody decides to do something bad after they've been admitted through the process. But his wife, Tashfeen Malik, she came here on a special visa for fiancés of American citizens. How much screening did she get? Any idea the number of people who come in on these fiancé visas a year? Um, I don't know the exact number, but I think this past year it's somewhere around 35,000. But apparently they're scared of widows and orphans. ISIS has been a main concern of the U.S. through just this sort of radicalization. Not directed plots, but people who follow ISIS propaganda through their relentless uh, outpouring of propaganda around the world every day. In June 2015, Iraqi officials reported that as many as 500 children were kidnapped by ISIS to serve as suicide bombers and child soldiers. Anybody who had a chance to see those kids? Uh... Ho hopefully you understood the degree to which they're just like our kids. New Islamic State video shows boy soldier execute two alleged Russian spies. Long way from when you described them as a JV team. Well, was, keep, that, uh, well, keep, was that bad intelligence well, no, or no, your no, no, misjudgment? No. Keep, keep, keep in mind, uh, I wasn't specifically referring to ISIL. As I've said before, this aspect of our strategy was moving too slowly, but the fall of Ramadi has galvanized the Iraqi government. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. Well, that's it for tonight's news. Thank you for joining us. Join us again tomorrow night at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern for the InfoWars Nightly News. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.